All right, with my guy Tristan. What's up? He's gonna need to change his shirt. We need a match in the white and the pot, bro. What the heck? Anyways, how much did you do in your first month? How much did you do in your second month? And you're two and a half months in or three? Uh, almost three. So like two and a half. What are your numbers, bro? So I did. Six... Just so we can create some interest, so they actually want to listen to the story. <laughs> okay. So my first three days, I did sixteen thousand and one hundred in deals, and this last month, it hasn't even been that. Full second month. I well, did. you got three days left. Yeah, I got three days it's left. Basically the month. Um, I'm at 29750 so 200 bucks and then I'm at 30 k Fire, bro. So. Pull, pull up your numbers. Show them it's not just words, bro. Those are all the deals. Yep. Where are the names? Yes, sir. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the channel. I'm with my guy Tristan today. That's yes, good. sir. He is uh, actually a part of my sales team. So we're going to be talking about, you know, sales, mindset, you know, the gym. I'm Jack, so like... <laughs> So it's off. <laughs> nah. but yeah, man. So we're just gonna talk about like you know how you got started in sales, and then we just kind of go from there. So for sure. I know it got you started in sales, but for the viewers watching, you know, like what kind of got you in sales, what interests you about sales, and then how you find it. Yeah. Career. So like just to start from the beginning, like I was doing like marketing stuff, like trying to find make sure it's in front of your to, face, by the way, ways to make money online and shit like that. And then obviously I came across like being like a sales rep, like YouTube videos, like all that stuff. So I was applying to jobs. Somebody from Brendan's team reached out to me, like with their free trip training and then i was like okay and then i looked more into it and then i dm brendan himself and then like that day bro called me up and then it was history during the program and um yeah that was two it. months ago right it was about two months two month, ago a little bit over two months ago so now we're in miami did you yeah i was gonna say did you think you'd be in a penthouse in two months uh probably not i thought i'd be like hopefully like not where i was but um yeah not definitely not in a penthouse in miami and now a lot of people like struggle taking risks you know because it lowers their status or whatever the reason may be i know you had a risk when you took the risk and joined the program so kind of explain like how big of a risk you took and like how well it's paid off yeah for sure and because i was in a situation like i'd always struggled like with car like car problems and shit like that like because i had to pay for all my stuff my parents weren't paying for like any of my any of my stuff to live and whatnot like they were giving me a place to stay but i had to pay for my stuff um my car broke down like i couldn't get to work and stuff like i have to like either get a ride or borrow like my parents or somebody else's car um so i either like i was trying to find a way because i wanted to make money some other way because i was lifeguarding but i could either like fix my car pay like a couple grand or buy a new car um and be in debt get a loan or some shit but uh yeah I, I got into this and I, I risked it. I thought it was, I thought the reward outweighed the risk and I was gonna take a bet on myself. So I did it and worth it. And dude, you know, a lot of people don't have that courage to actually take that leap, you know, that leap of faith. So it's good that you did. And you know, you're about to close like a three or 5K deal here in like an hour. You got a, some calls set up. So, mm -hmm. um, and then Xavier's in the other room, you know, he did a K today. Exactly. Not even a good day, but like, <laughs> yeah, still <laughs> yeah, doing K, light. still doing thousands. But yeah, no, I mean, Learning sales is just powerful, you know, because like when you know how to talk to people, you know how to influence buying the behavior and you just know how to make money with your voice without being like an artist or something like that's that's powerful, right? And I think just knowing how to talk to people and talk with people in general and like know how to navigate a conversation is very important because like it helps you with networking like out here, like helps a lot. Exactly. We're going to that mansion party on the second. Sure yes, sir. <laughs> so like you're going to need not a network. It's going to be hundreds of millionaires, bro. So like you said you were a little antisocial before sales and this is something I want to talk about as well because yeah. a lot of people like like, you know, I'm not very good at speaking. Can I do sales? Um, and you being like a little antisocial, not good at speaking from your own words months ago. I mean, like kind of give your two cents on that. Yeah, for real. And like in, in like middle school, like even through like the beginning of high school and like throughout high school, I didn't like talk to a ton of people. Like I wasn't super social with anybody. Like I wasn't super outgoing. Like even in middle school, people would say I was like socially awkward. Like I, like I would be talking to people. It's just, it's just awkward talking to people. But um, yeah, I, I kind of had to get over my fear of that obviously talking and people on the phone is 10 times different but now like you got to think like it's the same exact thing when you're talking to people in person so now when i'm talking to people like out and about it's it's no problem because like it's a skill you're learning and even going back to like the risk like when i was getting into this i didn't even see it was a risk because i was betting on myself and mm. i was like you got to be confident in yourself mm. because like I, I knew I could do those things like I hadn't done them before. But if you put your head down and you're confident in yourself, like I don't see that stuff as a risk. Like you can build on anything. Like for sure. There's been people that are probably like less social than I was um, and have done really well. In well, sales. dude, like, like Abel, for example, like he 
just learned English. Exactly. And he's doing like, like 20, 30K, 40K months, bro. Like that's crazy. 16 years old, just learned English, dude. Like it, it, you don't have to be really good at speaking. You don't have to be charismatic. Like there's mm -hmm. always an offer that you can relate on. So for example, like the more monotone, like slower people, like the more socially awkward, I guess you could say, those are good on business offers because they don't want to be hyped up. They just want to know exactly what the company's selling, for example, versus like um, a B2C offer where you're selling the regular day people. You know, that's where you're like more up your tonality. You're talking with more hype, right? That takes a different type of sales rep. Either way, someone can like, no matter how you speak, you can do good on any offer, but like there's some that you excel in more than others. And like, you've gotten good at like upping your tonality and energy. So like, that's why you're accelerating right now on, on, mm -hmm. on our offer. Yeah, so it's really important to know that you don't have to be super good at speaking, especially not in the beginning. Like if there's people that don't even know English and they learn English, then get into sales. Like you have no excuse whatsoever, you know? Yeah, and especially like with the offer thing, like there's literally like it's anything out there because like, you know, remember when me and Fred we're, we're getting into it like we were going so long like our tonality at least my tonality i don't know about frederick's but we weren't closing any, we weren't closing any deals for a while yeah um and our tonality was getting down our, our motivation was low and you just have because obviously we would probably like like you said we'd be prone to more like a b2b B offer where you don't need to be upbeat because like we weren't that social at the beginning but yeah. um, if you work at something obviously like now like i can talk to anybody and close anybody on like talking like b2c is so much easier for me um, yeah. it's it's way better to work on like a b2c offer and and gain both of that insight because it's it helps you with rapport anyways yeah. for a b2c and you know you're, you're in the program bro so you know we've helped hundreds of people you know like people make thousands in their first week month two weeks whatever it's your your story is interesting because it took you a month but mm -hmm. you kept with it and you didn't quit and then after you hit that breakthrough like month like in the beginning of month two you know you hit that one sale mm -hmm. and then you just had like what was it like three sales like within 24 hours like because exactly. it's literally just a mindset shift like you hit that first sale then you did two more within 24 hours and you didn't do one for a whole month right yeah. so like you finally like figured it out and you had that mental shift and then you got really good and now you're you're just closing, bro. So exactly, and it just it's like progressive because it, it was that barrier. Like everybody was saying, like, okay, you hit that first sale, it's just a barrier, and like you think, like, okay, yeah, well, what <laughs> what's gonna change? It does change things. Yeah. Like it's not, it's no joke. It changes things. Yeah, because it's like the first step. Like when you're taking a sales call and you like you close someone on like a five, ten, twenty k plus package, like within a 30, 45 minute phone call, like your mindset is just like broken like exactly. when you when that money hits your account it's like what the hell i just did that in like an under an hour and like it, it's like that's not what we're like raised up to think like about money it's like go to a job work for an hour and then to hear that you can make thousands of dollars in an hour is just stupid like it sounds like it's not legit but like high ticket sales is probably the most practical way to make money online in my opinion because you don't have to do a thousand things or start a business or do something like that you literally just learn one thing and that's sales and it's so practical it's getting on a phone with someone who's interested in buying what you're selling or another company's products or services and then you just push them over the edge and then they buy the product or service and then the product or service helps them because you only sell proven products or services with loads of case studies and testimonials and all that so it's just like it's very practical. It's just phone call, sale, phone call, sale, money in pocket. That's literally it. You don't have to do anything else. Yeah, for sure. And it's such like a wide variety. Like, like you said, like there's so many things that you can sell, so many op different offers you can work on. Yeah. Like it's really a fit for everybody, depending on what you're trying to get into. Mm -hmm. Like obviously some people don't want to get into sales, but like if you are trying to get into sales and you think, oh, maybe there's like not an exact fit for me. I feel like there always is. Like I, yeah. I don't think that there's like something that's not out there for anybody. Oh, for sure. Product dude. services. Like, you could sell some matter. weird stuff, dude. Like, um, like, you know, like spiritual coaching. Or, yeah. Or if you're like into fitness, you could like sell like a fitness offer. Like there's so many things that need sold. Anything that costs over a thousand dollars needs sold by a sales rep, right? Especially if it's over 3K typically. Sometimes you can sell things below 3K automatically, but usually you want a sales rep and that's where the sales reps come in. And there's millions and millions and millions of businesses that need sales reps. Like right now, like this couch, this, this real estate that we're in right now, you know, like everything is sold. So if it's expensive, it needs to be sold with a sales rep. So you can, you need to think more abundantly with like all the opportunities out there because everything in the world needs sold. Everything is sales, right? So yeah, there, there's always going to be an offer that you'd actually be knowledgeable about or something you'd be interested in actually selling when learning sales. So exactly. And that's like, that's like a big thing to it. Cause like, it's not just, it's, I'd say it's more of a career, like, but it, 
it opens up so many facets to you because like if you're trying to own a business like in the future like that was one thing for me like mm. you're learning a skill like sales is the basics of business it's oh, like yeah. the, it's like an insanely good foundation like for anybody you sh if you're trying to get into business be an entrepreneur you should know sales you got to know sales. have to bro yeah because if you're running a business i mean your job as a ceo is uh driving revenue to the business and then hiring and paying your overhead right like that's your mm -hmm. that's your goal that's what you do so if you can't drive revenue to your business then you should not be the CEO, right? And you should go join a company with a, with a CEO who knows how to drive revenue to the business. So if you don't know uh, marketing and sales, you don't even need to know marketing. If you know sales, you'll slightly know marketing and you'll know it enough to hire a marketer, okay? But here's the thing, marketing and sales are two different things. Marketing is creating interest. Sales is taking interest and converting it into a dollar sign and putting it in a bank account. So that's the difference between marketing and sales, right? You don't need to know both. Marketing's kind of useless if you don't know how to convert it into sales. So I think sales is even more important than marketing, but also you're not getting sales if you don't have interest. So they both go hand in hand. They're both really good skills to learn, but I know a little bit of marketing. It's easier for me to understand because I know sales. So it makes it a lot easier to learn marketing, right? And you yeah, kind of started okay. in marketing a little bit as well. So yeah, can, a little bit. Yeah. So can you kind of like, do you see what I like? They're very similar. They go hand in hand, but like, they're yeah. not the same thing. It's not really the same thing, especially like with that. It's, it's difficult because like you have to like kind of know how to sell yourself to like I was trying to freelance myself to to be do marketing and stuff. You can't. You got to know how to sell yourself to the mar like the person you're trying to market for. All right, guys, camera died. Now um, we're hopping into the night segment. <laughs> so uh, yeah, don't remember where we left off. So let's just jump back in. You got anything you want to start off with? Yeah. So basically, like from your point of view and things, like obviously, like not everybody gets to like a point of where they're they're making money with like high ticket sales. Like there's other programs you don't you don't. <laughs> that people don't see the results like very soon if if they see any results at all so like yeah from your point of view like as a coach as a mentor like you've been in the space for a while what sets like those people apart because you've had people that have done crazy numbers sure. and you've had also people who haven't done done shit so i mean bro there's a top one percent in everything in the world right and to be top one percent you got to compete with the other 99 percent. now what i've noticed with training and watching hundreds of well, thousands of sales reps at this point either make it or not make it, it the ones that always make it always have a fire within them that like they want they want to become successful and i think it's the same thing as like an entrepreneur as well or someone building a business like if you have you know why you want to build a business you know why you want to be a high ticket sales rep and like make a lot of money and like you attach an emotion to it like for example like my top closers right now they're supporting their families right their families are struggling like that's a fire that's a strong emotion so like that gets them through every single day and and get it motivates them to like dial up so i would just say like have a fire and like know why you want to make a lot of money for sure for sure Definitely and then also do it exactly <laughs> <laughs> gotta implement that's a that's yeah. the thing implement for sure um what do you think on that i agree and i agree like it, it's kind of situational like some people are like not it's not always the right time for them they don't have like something that really sets them over the edge because in some situations you you feel like you sometimes you really do need something to really set you over the edge like something happens you get fired from your job like some shit happens that sets you over the edge but um yeah it's definitely situational um it does go person to person like everybody's different everybody's different 100 percent. and i feel like what a lot of people don't understand as well is like you know they just want to get an opportunity they want to start selling okay well cool every business owner wants to have a million dollar a month business but like you don't just get that right off the bat right like you have to build the foundation to get to a million dollar a month business so it's the same thing with a sales rep like you can't just get an opportunity where you have leads provided to you that the company's paying to acquire to just throw those leads at you when you have no training or experience you can't skip steps so um you need training or experience okay both ideally but if you don't have experience and you need some type of training or some type of sales knowledge or you can start on these really crappy offers where you make like two to three four five k a month you can do that without a training but if you're one of those individuals trying to make you know like 10 20 30k 50k plus per month then like dude you you got to have a training and you got to have opportunities like that you have access to because there's not really another way exactly and like the thing is like even a like one of my friends i was talking to like there's so many people you're trying to make 10 15 20k like they they want to do these numbers but if you want to do those numbers you're not willing to invest in yourself to actually learn the skill like with the training because that's going to really is what is going to get you to that point like it's it's easy to say like okay you can go learn it by yourself yeah go do that see how see how, how see how that, <laughs> well that goes for you like find a mentor it's gonna it's basically a fast track well huh? dude yeah it's just like do you want to press the skip button or do you want to spend a lot of time because like i know when people say like oh i'm never buying a course and like i'm not saying like we, we don't sell courses mm -hmm. or nothing like that not even close really it's a lot more than that but like for people that are like no i, I don't need a course i can just learn on youtube okay go ahead like like what you said what, what yeah. are you even gonna look up 
So you don't even know what to look up. And another yeah, thing you're not pieces. realizing is 99% of people don't even know what they're talking about. And 99% of people are also just trying to funnel you and sell you a course. So like they're not gonna actually give you the information you need to actually become successful. They're gonna give you a little information so they show dominance that they are knowledgeable about the skill, but they're not gonna give you enough to what you actually need to actually thrive. In, in anything, it's not just sales, it's anything in general. That's just how uh, the market of information is, it works nowadays, but. Exactly, and like you think like, oh, the courses get a bad rep nowadays, yeah. like especially compared to like, comparative to college. Like when I got into this, like I didn't even see it as a risk. Like you're you're spending like 100, like uh, 200K on, on school and the ROI, you don't see it for, you don't even start making money till like the four years after college. Yeah. Like, and then you don't even like start getting into profit because you're paying off your student loans for years as well. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> what would you, what would you rather <laughs> spend your time on? Like what's, what's the better ROI? Yeah, no, really? for sure, dude. And like, you know, I don't know the exact statistic, but something high, it's like 73% of people don't actually use their college degree to make money, it's which crazy. is, which is crazy. And like, when you learn something like a skill, like sales or something, something like that, it's like, I mean, dude, you like, you can earn while you learn, like you can learn as you're like on a roll, like as you're selling an offer actively. And that's the best way to actually learn stuff is to one, see people doing it the right way already. And then two, actually implementing it while you're learning information. So you're not going off hypotheticals and you're actually creating or using what you're learning so you can learn firsthand, okay, this information was accurate because it just worked. This information did not work. So it was not accurate because I just tried it and it didn't work. So it's a good way to like know if you're learning the right the right ways or not. Because if you can't implement it, you'll never actually truly know what's right and wrong until it proves itself or does not prove itself. For sure. And like every, like a, that goes back to everybody's different. Like school is for some people and school is not for some people. Courses are for some people. There's blue collar workers. Like there's yeah. something for everybody. Like this isn't for everybody. But honestly, like, yeah, it's just, it's, I just think it's super situational, but courses do get a bad rep. Like there's so many yeah. scammy, scammy places out there that like they, they throw something at your face and they don't really, it ends up not being what you're, what you're getting in, what you thought you're getting into. Here's another thing, bro. This is why people think courses are bad. Okay because they've bought courses and they didn't get results. So here's the thing, only one to 5% of people actually get results, why? That doesn't mean the course wasn't good. It's just that you bought a course and they were just teaching you. They weren't, they weren't like helping you make money. They were just teaching you how to make money, which that's the problem. That's why like with our program, for example, like you learn the sales and then you get a guaranteed position. You actually get to earn while you learn. Like it's not just a headline we say, like you get to earn while you learn. So you actually have the opportunity to make money for perform and learn at the same exact time, right? Now, if you buy another, like just like just a course, you're just gonna consume information and learn. And if you don't implement that, of course you're not gonna become successful. Now, when these gurus are selling you these courses, they're selling you the result that you'll get, which is fine, because that's the potential, that's what you could get to. But you're not gonna get that by just learning the information. There's also an implementation aspect of the things, and that's just essential. You have to implement what you learn, otherwise you're not gonna do anything. And people judge courses too quickly. They'll be like, okay, I learned this skill. I didn't make money in the first three weeks. This course sucked. No, dude, what's the long-term ROI of learning that skill and actually going through that course? You might make 10K in three months. You never know. Like, for example, you 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 took the sales course. You didn't make money for your first month. Next month, you started doing thousands. You did three deals. Uh, I don't, don't know what it was. It was like 5K in your first, like it was in 24 hours, yeah. like in the beginning of month two, but you didn't do anything in month one. Like, And now you got momentum. Like people just judge and quit too early. Like, so they never actually see it through to see if it actually worked or not. It's just that they didn't work. Exactly. And it's like, it's like the thing with short form content now. Like people, people can engage in a long-term thing. And like nobody reads books, like nobody can listen. Like you, you're, you're scrolling on TikTok, watching like 20 minute videos or, or 20 second videos. 20 seconds. And then you can't even stay engaged for a 20 minute video, uh, yeah. let alone like, like going like through, like actually learning material for an hour to add that it's actually going to help you. So, and it's nothing on the humans, bro. Like that's how we're wired. We want easy dopamine. That's how we're, that's how our brains work and function. So like, I mean, if you can get easy hits of dopamine scrolling 15 second videos and you get more dopamine than, than watching a 20 minute video, then yeah, obviously our brains are going to want to do that. But the problem is, is once that's done repetitively, your brain becomes conditioned like a monkey and just wants to consume things and switch things every 15 seconds. So like when you watch TikToks for two hours, your brain's like uh, conditioned like that. You go try to do some deep work. Every 15 seconds, you're gonna be like, yeah, your phone buzzes, like you know, any just your, distraction. Your, your brain's any like, it, your brain's just like, I don't know, it's just a 50, you have a 15 second brain now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's wired to fail. Like you're, you're wired to not be able to engage in stuff and, and actually like, especially like that deep work. Like if you can't sit down for, for two hours, like, and just focus on what you're doing, like 
that's not going to get you very far. Like even in any facet of life, like just like being able to work on something without getting distracted is just a skill that you don't see very often anymore. 100%. And dude, like it takes no focus to scroll TikTok and watch 15 mm -hmm. second videos. It takes focus to become successful. That's why like when Jeff Bezos and like Bill Gates, or I don't know if it was Bill Gates, I know definitely Jeff Bezos, but they got asked like, you know, like what's the one thing that is going to be holding people back from becoming successful nowadays? And they're like, focus. Like, that's the one thing that's needed that a lot of people are not able to have nowadays. So if you can focus, you're going to be ahead of a lot of people. Yeah, let's just end the podcast, bro. You got any last wrap-up thoughts? Yeah, I'm just saying like and subscribe. <laughs> be like and subscribe, bro. You know the vibes. Let's go. It's been Brennan Swank. You know, you better start making bank and stop spanking the swank. Let's get to it, baby. Let's go.